Here we are with Gleipnir episode 9. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say, let's get to the episode. Which makes sense, I guess. Because there could be coins on the ship. Or like scattered around the ship where it crashed. Yeah, I mean, that's good and all, right? But I feel like someone is going to die, or maybe all of them, and then maybe only Claire and Chuichi is left again, right? <coughs> because they are not really the fighting types, right? I mean, we have a plant boy that can grow stuff, but he's not really fighting, right? He's more like the peaceful guy. Then we have the girl that makes the pacts. Um, <clears throat> she can make the packs, but I mean, fighting-wise, I guess she can't do much, right? Then we have the cat ear girl, uh, Yoshioka, I think is her name. Um, <clears throat> also not the fighting type. Um, then we have the girl that can become invisible. I doubt that she can fight. <laughs> and then we have camera, camera guy, and yeah, also not a fighter. He seems also like, more like a coward, right? That rather f runs from a fight than fight. And then we just have this other guy that can apparently fight, but he said he couldn't, he, he won't, he, he wasn't, yeah, he pretty much said that he couldn't, that he wouldn't be as strong as, uh, uh, Chuichi, right? When he's transformed, when they destroyed the tree, he's like, okay, yeah, maybe not. So yeah, it seems like he's also not that strong, maybe. So no one really can fight, it seems like, or isn't, or is very strong so yeah if they encounter someone that can fight and that wants to fight rip Oh, is this where they fought Sunbei? <clears throat> the line on the ground that is like... That looks like something went through the ground. I think that was a tech from Sunbei, right? When he smacked the ground. <clears throat> and the guy he... The camera guy I saw was probably the guy that he split in half. This guy. Yeah. I mean, maybe they just put it up to keep people away. <laughs> because people would guess like, okay, this is like the, the risky path. She needs a snack. <laughs> no? What does he have? Hmm. The shadowy figures again that we saw. <laughs> I wonder why. Ok. 
Okay. Most likely. It's probably the gorilla type gang, right? <clears throat> of the guy that can transform into gorilla. He feels useful. He's happy. Oh yeah, she she doesn't have much stamina when she is transformed, right? Why even transform if you just get some cat ears, right? What's the point? If you also lose stamina when you are transformed. And she seems also not very fit. <laughs> Dude, class looks all the time. Ooh, he can make melons. That's useful. As long as he has seeds, you have food supply, basically. <laughs> Very hungry. <laughs> I guess so. You need some rest. Maybe that's why they are so laid back, right? Because nothing has happened yet. I mean, we don't know that, right? Elena just said, what if someone already had collected 100? But if someone did that already, then he would have turned all these coins in probably, right? Not just keep them, right? Otherwise, you don't get your wish. And I guess you would wish, and I guess you would want to get your wish as soon as possible for the 100 coins. So maybe it's a trap to lead people around it where they want them to be? Mm. Wow. Damn, two more gorilla guys. And that was T.
I have a bad feeling. <clears throat> Did they spot us? Hmm, I mean, they looked all up to you. I wonder if they saw you. Oh, yeah, I get a bad feeling. <sighs> okay, so he wants to recruit them? Who is he gonna catch? Is it Yoshioka? Maybe Claire? Maybe Claire's already inside Suichi? Because we don't see her right now. I mean, he has a lot of legs to run, right? I guess Claire's already inside. Maybe he's getting no one? I guess so, that would make sense. I mean, he's not really going here, I mean, yeah, probably. But it wasn't really planned that way, right? <clears throat> well. Wow. Uh. And they don't pay attention. No, they have. Okay. Uh. Oh, I rip her apart. <laughs> Hello. Oh, of course, dude. Wow. Of course. Yeah, how about no? But it's kind of funny that the girl that is all about, like, groping other girls is now being groped, right? <laughs> like the episode where, where she made the pact with Claire. Is this a hat? It is. Oh, is this the girl we saw in the other episode fight them? Yeah. God damn. I guess so. Oh, the gun. Oh, will he fight? Oh, oh, come on, let's see it. Apparently he's the only fighter among them. So let's see. <laughs> of 
course. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh. oh. Let's see it. Ooh. Looks Badass. Who would be stronger? Him or Shuichi? Okay, let's go. Let's see what you got. Ooh. Okay. So far, so good. Man, he's good at like blocking <laughs> holy shit he broke his arms come on punch him <laughs> oh yes <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, he's still fine. I mean, I guess everything goes here, right? And he buried the head. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I would say they should go now, right? Run. I think you have other things to worry about. X-ray vision. <sighs> mm hmm Wow. Dang. If he transforms back, he has no jaw. Wow, that's what I expected. Mm hmm. That he's worthy? Will he kill him? To show that he's like... That he has like no hesitations? Okay. Not what I expected.
that's what I said. You can use his ability as like an like a terrain advantage. I guess you want to go in. <laughs> Better get in quickly. <laughs> okay, the the trees ain't doesn't mean shit. Okay. King Kong is in the house. Get in. Hurry up. Oh, yeah, of course you would think that. The biggest monster-like looking thing. Oh. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Well. Oh, does he want... Yeah, I guess he wants Claire. Mm-hmm. The old T is slapping again. But I mean, he did a punch already. Can he power up more? Yeah, I guess he's done. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. God damn, man. <laughs> Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, like I said at the beginning of the episode, I see that someone might die, probably. And it already starts, right? <laughs> they are not well versed in fighting at the beginning of the episode. They were, they said like, yeah, we are not strong, but we are smart. But like you can see, smartness is not winning the day. They they thought, oh, we are smart. We put a uh, we put up a barricade of trees. King Kong guy just comes through, no problems. Because this is the thing, they have powers and they think, okay, these powers are not useless, they're good, they can help us, right? But they don't know the powers of others, so others could just overpower their powers. Like in this case, King Kong can just go through trees, no problem, because he's strong enough. Um, and then the other guy has x-ray vision and knows exactly where they are going, so... They can't, they can't just outrun them either, because he can just see where they're going, basically. And then the centipede guy, when they tried to run away, he could just catch up, right? Where everything started, basically. So, that's a big problem. They thought, okay, we can outsmart them, but without the knowledge of what, they, what the enemy can do, you can't really outsmart them, because you don't know what they can do. You think you can maybe do something, but then comes the reality where it's like, yep, it isn't going that way. <clears throat> and yeah, now we're in a situation where basically the one guy that can fight seems like got knocked out. I mean, he got hit by King Kong with a big tree, so that didn't look good. And King Kong wants, I guess, Claire now. He saw that Claire goes into Chuichi, so... And based on his, like, expression where he licked his mouth or teeth or whatever, um, I guess he wants to get his hands on Claire, right? Same as the centipede guy that went after the pack girl. I forgot her name. And wants to grope her, of course. Oh. It's, it's, it's this thing, like, in the main gulf, right? That happened. Or, like, same as Mirai Nikki, where darker stuff like this happens. Where it's, like, characters that are like the main characters or on which side you are get like captured or whatever and then it's like they start to get groped or something like this darker theme stuff right and you don't and you don't like to see it right it's not what you want to see but it happens because it's a darker theme um and so it sucks to see um but yeah yeah but like i said in the episode also funny that the girl that went after claire to grope her 
is now the per was now the person that got catched and groped, right? Obviously, <laughs> it has to be like that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, how do we get out of the situation now? Because now King Kong is here. No one basically has a chance against him. The one guy that seems strong is, I guess, knocked out. And Claire, so far, Claire and Chuichi didn't make the best experience. Uh, impression on being good fighters right they won against the first girl at the beginning but i guess that's because she wasn't well versed and in, and experienced in fights either right she was also a newcomer to this whole thing and claire is more like she goes in and brawls right but she has like no experience in like dodging blocking and all that stuff that actually wins fight right she just goes in and is ready to fight and has the power to, to somewhat do so because of Chuichi, right? But like you could see against the centipede guy, she just got blocked and thrown away. While the other guy that also that already had like experiences in actual fights with others, um, he went in, blocked the attacks, and basically beat him, right? So he is more experienced in how fights work, and that shows. So, but yeah, he is knocked out now. And yeah, King Kong guy seems very strong, so. I have a feeling that they probably can't win against him. Because the King Kong guy just burst through these trees, right? While Claire in the costume in Shuichi needed quite a few hits to break a tree. So for me that seems like that the King Kong guy is maybe probably like physically just stronger than them too. So what are they gonna do? They're not very experienced in like fighting, like dodging and all that stuff. And I guess they can't overpower him either. And the other guys will probably also catch up. So what are they gonna do if they run away? The other guys that are not the fighting types get attacked. So if they want to pr protect them, they can't just run away. If they run away, then they are pretty much doomed. The other guys will catch up probably. They probably can't out outmatch the King Kong guy, so what are they gonna do? How do they get out of this? Is Elena coming in again and save the day somehow? Um, do they get some kind of power-up? Maybe uh, maybe uh, Chuichi goes into the rage mode again, or whatever it's called. I mean, I think we don't have a name for it yet. But maybe he can fuse with Claire and maybe that somehow can win the day, I guess. Maybe if that happens. Um... Uh, yeah, it's tough, right? I mean, I this is like the big problem. Normally in, in animes, you have like your main character that is like very strong or smart to win the day, right? But here it seems like kind of hopeless right now. So it's the question, how can they win? They are not really strong enough from what it looks like in the last few fights. And I feel like in this situation, they can't really outsmart King Kong guy or because there are too many guys, too many people that couldn't fight him. So it's basically just Chuichi and Claire. So they don't really stand a chance, I guess. The other guy that can't fight is probably knocked out. The other guys can't fight, so they are just cannon fodder. So they can't run away. They can't outsmart him, really. It's just, it seems hopeless right now. So I guess we have to wait and see what happens. But yeah i feel like i just start to repeat myself and yeah the last thing i could talk about i think is basically at the beginning when or not at the yeah somewhat at the beginning when yoshioka or whatever her name is the girl with the cat ear said that someone already found 100 coins i mean we don't know claire said what if someone already found 100 coins but like i said i think if that would be the case the person would most likely have already turned in those hundred coins to get his wish fulfilled, right? Or his crazy power, or whatever. So it wouldn't make sense if someone had it already and wouldn't turn it in, right? So, yeah, I think there's no one already. But also, like I said, when Elena talked about it, we saw some, like, the shadowy figure again that from the body shape looked like a girl with longer hair. So the first thing I thought about it was maybe this could be Claire, maybe from the shape of the of the body shape, right? Um, and like I said, I, I have some weird vibes still about Claire. I mean, 
I like her and she seems to like Chuichi, but I mean, she gives off sometimes weird vibes with the look she has and like last episode at the end when she just stood there in her apartment looking out of the window with a look on her face it's like I don't know I can't I don't know what she's thinking what she's if she's planning if she has some master plan or something I don't know so but I mean again if if it would be Claire and she already had these hundred coins or would be close to it then whoa. I mean you could say if she already had like many coins why would she go to Chuichi and ask him about it right maybe because she just found many coins but don't doesn't know much about them really I don't know I don't know it's just I still have like sometimes some weird vibes about Claire and doesn't and don't know if she's like really on Chuichi's side and this basically what she seems to be or if there's some hidden plan behind the facade or something right um so yeah it's still interesting can't wait to see how this whole thing gets revolved but yeah that's the episode so yeah if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think it would say thanks for watching until next time bye bye